Hello and welcome back to Fallout 4. Um, I decide we're gonna go ahead with this, uh, and say we're, we're a detective. If you change your mind about helping us investigate, we really could use some help. Are you the detective we sent for? Um, I have Nick with me, so yes, I'm the detective. Yes, I'm the detective. Uh, thank goodness. <laughs> Let me just open the door for you. Thank you. Okay, so opening the door. Come on now. Look at that. Well, it's about time the police sent someone out to investigate. <laughs> we have many important residents and they are very worried. Why are you so rusty? Ooh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get some money. What outfit am I wearing? Ooh, I'm wearing my charisma outfit. Perfect. Let's talk about my compensation first. Very well. Consider this a retainer. Ah, thank you. Have a look at the crime scene for clues. And when you're ready, Sounds we like trouble. findings. That of the crime scene again? Don't they realize that they're going to disturb the evidence? You'd better come with me, detective. Okay. Okay, I can go with you, Maxwell. How come, how come the concierge is so much less rusty than you are? I'm just wondering. This is. What the hell do you think you're doing? This is a crime scene. Do you not see the glory of the thing, the artistry? What the hell is wrong with you? Excuse me. Ezra, you have outdone yourself. Oh, this is your finest work. There is more emotion in his death than most have had in You ready to lives. talk about Dima? Right? Have you no respect? We family? Just say that at least he had the decency to make a spectacle of it. There is nothing Please, worse than I may. That's if what, I what is going on? Sick. I'm sorry for shouting. But the detective has arrived and shall begin the investigation henceforth. Please there return to your rooms until the detective has examined the crime scene and had a chance to come speak with you. Okay, so it's a robot hotel? Is that what went on? Oh, robots have blood? That's confusing. Legendary protector on to say on the subject? Okay, oh man, I have to make this decision now. I think he's your brother. It's hard to deny it, Nick. Similarities are pretty obvious. I spent a long time wondering if the Institute had made any other prototypes. If I was just a failure, or they gave up, or just plain got bored. I always thought I was just more of their discarded trash. I never thought of the possibility that someone wanted me out. Helped me escape. There's got to be some kind of proof out there. What really happened between me and Dima? I'd appreciate it if we could keep an eye out. Proof? Ooh, I already have something. Ooh, already have something. Actually, I think I already found something inside of Dima's memories. Take a listen. All right. Let me run this real quick. God. Dima really did help me escape the Institute? I wasn't just tossed out with the garbage. I must have still been in a haze from one of the Institute's experiments on me. Mm -hmm. Did I really attack him? Did he really knock the daylights out of me and leave me for dead? Well, you attacked God. him! Why can't I remember? Ooh. I don't know. Take it easy, Valentine. People forget things. Especially after something traumatic, like what happened between you and Dima. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Well, I wanted proof Dima and I had history, and I got it. Now I just gotta figure out what to do. Should I give him a chance? Try to accept him as my brother? Yeah? He might just be the only other prototype synth that exists. Well, it's your call. I think you already know the answer, Nick. You don't need me to tell you. Huh. 
Maybe next time we swing by Acadia, I'll try to be a little nicer to the old synth. Make up for lost time. Thanks, by the way. I wouldn't know the truth without you. All right, so back to the crime scene. What am I doing? I'm investigating it. Is that the plan here? All right, speak with Maxwell. All right, we can do that. Have a look at the crime scene for clues. And when you're ready, we can discuss your findings. You are free to question the residents, but their safety is our priority. Okay. So unless you have solid evidence, I would avoid accusations. Okay. Uh, search. Hmm. Is this blood? It looks like the brain enclosure was smashed. Oh. More blood? Oh! There we go. Wow. I'm thinking this is how we passed away. Oh. Well, I guess someone wasn't a fan of Robo. A baseball brains. bat? At least not huh. this one. What's this doing here? Ah, uh, that's how they smashed his brain Hello enclosure. Again, detective. Was there anything else? Uh, the residents are robots? Your residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anyway. <laughs> I believe the term they use is robo-brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. Was there anything else? Whoa! Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast experience managing venture projects around the world. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. Weird. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything else? Yeah, I think I found the murder weapon. I found the murder weapon. Oh no. <laughs> That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You don't think he could be involved, do you? I can't imagine him ever doing such a thing. Shoo! Was there anything else? Alright. Nope, nope, nope. Um, where to start? I'm not sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died. And then who had the means and motive to kill him. Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need to confront the killer. Okay. Was there anything else? Nope, nothing else. Never mind. I'll be here, should you need me. All right, so let's go check out all these other people. Are you just a random protect guard? and serve. Protect and serve. Yeah, you are literally just a, just a random guard. How do I... Oh, this is weird. So there's a lab. Okay, everything is stealing. Don't steal stuff. Got it. Um, nothing, uh, nothing we really care to see in here. Let's carry on, see if we can find any of the rooms. Oh, they are very nice rooms. Why'd you do it, huh? He deserved a better that. You think I'm stupid? I saw the way he looked at you. You gonna tell me that's nothing? Oh, whoa. It wasn't like that. We were friends. He helped me out of a tight spot or two is all. I couldn't stand by like some pasty-faced Percy while he put the moves on my best girl. But now the law is on our tail. What are we going to do? Come away with me. Let's leave this dark hole of a city behind. We can be in Buenos Aires by tomorrow. Oh, I want to believe you, I do, but they'll never let us go. Then we'll make our stand here. I... I've got a gun for each of us. No, 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 no. The line is... Then we'll make our stand here. Two lovers together with a bullet for each of them. Oh, God. Why can't I ever get that line? Forget it. I can't do this right now. Ugh, fine. I'm going to the beach. Hello, detective. How can I help? Did you have questions about the kids? Uh, yeah. What's your thoughts? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? It's obviously Santiago. He keeps going back to look at the crime scene. All right. I found your baseball bat. I found your baseball bat at the crime scene. 
Care to explain how it got there? Someone is clearly trying to frame me for the murder. It's probably Santiago. You saw him skulking around the crime scene. So were you. What were you and Gilda talking about when I walked in? Huh? Oh, we were just rehearsing a scene. Nothing to worry about. All right. Ooh. Maybe later. Okay. Just let me know how I can help. Okay. Um. I don't really see anything. Is this your bathroom? Do you have a bathroom? Oh, you have a gym! Oh, and a bedroom! Wow, your guys' vault is actually pretty nice. Is there anything in here that'll help me out? Uh, sliding door, clothes. Ew, it's really gross in here. As if they didn't have cleaners. I don't understand how they didn't have cleaners. I don't really see anything in here that would make me think it was them. Okay, is this... Oh! They each have separate bedrooms. Odd. Is that a charging station? Oh, look at that. Nice wine. Anything good in here? Dog meat? Or is it all same old, same old? Same old. Alright, let's go find the next resident. Who appears to be a robot. Oh, you have lions outside your door. Oh, what is this? Okay. Whoa. Okay. I'm weird. Okay. Just looking around, seeing what they have out here. See if there's anything. Ooh, there is a pocket watch. That looks. Oh, why do you have skulls, man? Why do you have skulls? Maybe this is just a way to. I don't know, like a museum? Now we have another charging station. Vault 8118. Overseer's key? Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. How come it's not stealing in here? Nobody owns this place? Well, ain't that a blast from the past? It is. And I'm going to lo loot this place blind now. Okay. Let's close the door. And there we go. I'm going to unlock all these things and take it all. Are these plastic? Why would he have plastic skulls? Whoa, plastic skulls. This is weird. Okay, I didn't realize that breaking into all of these would actually help along the quest. That's odd. But maybe that's why it's not stealing. They wanted me to break into him and take all this stuff, which I definitely am now. Come on! Oh, this is so finicky. Woo! There we go! Yes! <laughs> Ooh, look at that! Okay. Ooh, a gold watch. A silver locket. And nothing really fantastic over there. And I think I already looted everything in here. We did. We did. Alright. Oh! You're uh, back in here, Valentine! We're gonna go look for the next guy. What is over here. Concierge? Okay, he just beeps at you. Ew, this is really gross. Why is it so dirty in here? I don't get it. If there are a bunch of robots and they've been here since the beginning. Why is it so gross in here? Corn, nice. Okay, more corn, carrots, melons, Concierge. When you never get stuck in one of these things again. It'll be too soon. Okay. You're kind of weird. Fresh melons. I don't want to steal. No stealing. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the upper floor area. There is more people out there. I'm just trying to get a feel for what's around this vault. Protect and serve. I'm really... Wow, it all, like, loops around. Okay. Overseer. Oh, <gasps> I can go in the overseer room. But I don't want to yet. I want to talk to all the other people. I need to find where to talk to all the other residents. Maybe there's more houses over here. Maintenance? 
Okay. Ooh, circuit board. Those are good. And more gross areas. Okay. And this doesn't lead to any homes now. Oh, man. Oh. Paint. Oh, this is how they have electricity. I see. This definitely is the maintenance room. Why is there so much paint everywhere? Well, 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 well. If it is the log, arm of the law. Tell me, are you a devotee of the arts? Does that cruel muse call you to her entrapping bosom? <laughs> what is wrong with you? All right, we're going for the charisma check. Ah. Oh is life. Without it, we are no different than animals. Perhaps. If all we are is a sentient floating in a suit of flesh, or metal, I suppose, then art is the only true communion with the world. Come with me. Oh! Is he going to tell me more? He has a lot of pain. Tell me, what does this piece say to you? Oh. It's a face. It looks kind of like a face. That spot is the eye. The red blotch is its hair. And it's sticking its tongue out. Indeed. <laughs> this was the last piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda. Number 1378. Holy! The landscape is superimposed on the portrait. The reality of the subject is distorted as the ego attempts to project itself. This, this guy's kind of weird. Okay. This one? Tell me, what does this one say to you? Um, it, to me it looks like it's the war. That's what it is. It's the war. Bombs from every direction. No up or down. The world turned on its head. I suppose in a way it must be. Art shapes the world, and the world shapes art in return. All art must therefore be constantly reborn through the lens of contextual and historic interpretation. Okay. The same. He's gonna show me more, isn't he? Where are you going now? What are we doing? Hello? Oh, one more. <gasps> oh! And what about this one? And please be honest. For art without honesty is just politics. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Can I pass a hard charisma check? It is cute. It's cute, I guess. Some people like that kind of thing. More than you would imagine. Oh, wow, Before I passed it. This is my best selling piece. I did this series under a pseudonym, of course. This series has made more money than any of my serious works. And I take the whole thing as a lark. What does that tell you about the value of art to the common man? Huh? Hmm? Ah, my fellow connoisseur of the art. You have to see my latest work. Uh, thoughts on the case. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. What? She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. You could hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. Oh, wow. Arguing with them? What were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time and I was trying to block it out. Though I bet Gilda probably heard them. Maybe you should check with her. Okay. Tell me about tell you. Tell me about yourself. What is there to tell? I am one of the premier artists in the world. Oh. My work is primarily in oil paint, but I have been known to do sculpture or performance art as well. Okay. I think you should explain why you keep returning to the crime scene. It's for inspiration, detective. The others do not like to think about it, but even we shall die someday. Like Prometheus's torch, it kindles within me the fire to create as much art as I can. 
with the time that I have. You've had a long time. What's up with the paintings of Gilda? Thank goodness, I wanted to ask about that. It sounds like you've done a lot of paintings of Gilda. Why her? Our Gilda is a very singular creature, detective. Do you not see this water fear from within her? I have never met another who clings to life so tenaciously. Who lives so in the moment. I must admit I was quite smitten with her for a time. Probably still are. I think you're in love with her. You're still in love with Gilda, aren't you? So what if I am? What business is it of yours? She deserves someone who truly understands her ephemeral beauty. Not that brute actor. Oh gosh. Maybe later. Good. I hope my paintings are able to open your mind to new possibilities. All right. Sounds good. Maybe we should go speak with Gilda. What is this? Was I already here? Uh, oh, oh, this is where all the Protectrons actually charge themselves. I see, I see. All right, let's go find Gilda. That's who I'm really interested in speaking with right now. Oh my goodness, now I'm in a whole new section. Oh, I see where we are. I got this. I got this. Gilda, oh lovely. No, you're key. I want to speak to you. I want to speak to Gilda. Gilda, where are you? All right. Uh, who are you? Who are you? I can't tell them apart. Oh my goodness. And that's San Diego's place. Why would they have a window open to that? I'm really confused. Aha! Oh. What is that? Is that like a decontaminator? If so, why? What? Whose room is this? And why are they crazy? Who's a pretty kitty? Juliana, Mr. Whiskers died last night. This is Cluffy. Remember? Oh, of course. Silly me. Just let me have a look at the neural interface matrix and I'm sure I can clear that. Uh... No. No, it's not that. Uh, I've just caught another cold. Probably something that got in when they sent Pearl out. Oh, God. Not this again. Last month you were convinced you had the measles. You're not a doctor. What would you even know about it? Besides, I think it may be malaria. <laughs> Why are they crazy? I am a doctor. Yes, but not a real doctor. Robotics isn't an actual medical degree. Secondly, oh my I've goodness. told you time and again, you can't get Mom sick inside the suit. No it's not physically possible. I know when I'm getting sick, Bert. Now why don't you just wander off and play in your lab? Mr. Scruffy and I are going to rewrite the will, so he will get everything when I die because horrible Bert didn't believe me. Oh God, Juliana. Have fun Whatever. there. Hello, I'm Detective. Going to the lab. Did you have a question about the heinous I, I do, actually. Tell me about yourself first. Tell me about yourself. I'm Juliana Riggs, heiress to the Riggs fortune and wife of Bert Riggs. I'm not sure what else you expected, Detective. Okay, okay. What's your thoughts on the case? Do you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Or that horrible painter. Their type is always the cause of violence. Oh, what about your fight with Ezra? I heard you had a big fight with Ezra a few days ago. Care to explain? Oh, well, it wasn't that big a deal, really. He wanted more money to pay for repairs on the hotel. I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. I really should have listened to him more. Okay, what's with all the junk? What's with all the junk in here? These are our things. We're just waiting till the war blows over so we can bring them back to the mansion. Okay. Maybe later. Good luck catching the murderer, detective. Oh, you're so cute! You're super cute! I thought maybe that was the missing cat. Oh my goodness, they have a lot of stuff. It's a folder. I'm just kind of trying to take a peek around to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, they have a kitty cat painting. Oh my. Oh, Wake Master Alarm Clock. Nice. Anything over here? Not really. You just have a pile of junk. Whoa. Is that... 
Do you have a leak? What is that? That's really weird. All these vaults run together for you too. Yeah, they all kind of do look the same. Where's Bert? Where's the lab? Let's find this lab. Oh, ooh. What is this place? This is a very, very dirty room. I'm going to assume that no one ever stayed in that room. I'm not sure. Where are we heading? Showers. You guys shower? Do you really shower? You robots shower? Oh my goodness, there really is a beach. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that. Oh, Gilda, you're here. Someone with a body like that in far, yeah. far too long. Wow. All right. Let's flirt with her. Oh, you're not so bad yourself. You should have seen me before all this. Huh. Red hair that was the envy of every girl. <laughs> oh. I'm sure you'd rather hear some of my stories from the silver screen rather than talk about that nasty murder business. Ooh, flirt again. Shall we do it? I must say. You're quite the actress. What can I say? It just comes naturally. Surely you must be here for my salacious stories of the silver screen. Ooh, holy crap, how much can I flirt Have with her? Have you ever done radio? Your voice is quite enchanting. Well, darling, play your cards right, and maybe I'll whisper some sweet nothings in your ear. Oh. Care to hear some of my stories, detective? Oh, I just gotta keep flirting over I and over. Say, Get it. Get XP. I've known flesh and blood girls who aren't half the woman you are. Keep it up, Tiger, and we'll find out if you can handle how much woman I am. Wow. Here to hear some of my stories, detective. Go on a date? What? Why don't we grab a bottle of wine and go watch the sunset? Mm, sounds good, detective. Are you married? What? Did I just sleep with a robot? That's great, detective. But we probably shouldn't make a habit of this. Catch you later, tiger. What? Oh my goodness! What is lover's embrace? Alright, so I didn't know that uh, I would go sleeping with a robot. I was just trying to talk to her. Hey there, Gilda! Tiger. Here for more stories about my acting career or something else? Alright, um... Whoa, what am I shuring to? Answer some questions? Can you answer some questions? Sure, darling. What did you need? Ooh. Found a baseball bat. I found Keith's baseball bat at the scene of the murder. Any thoughts on how it got there? I don't know, detective. I can't really imagine Keith killing Ezra. Did you need something else? Uh... What about Juliana and Ezra arguing? Apparently, Juliana had a big argument with Ezra a few days before he died. Did you happen to overhear any of the conversation? Oh, yes. I haven't seen a woman go off like that since Teresa Dubois fired her costume designer. But to get back to your question, it was Fever Pitch Detective. She had apparently gone to the overseer's office to check on the state of things and found it in horrible disrepair. But, and this is where it gets interesting, it sounded like she found something that really set her off. Couldn't hear what, though. Did you need something else? <gasps> Ooh, what about your affair with Santiago? I've gotten the impression you've had an affair with Santiago. Look, I love Keith, I do. But sometimes he just can't give me the attention I need. Oh the girl gets lonely, detective. It only lasted a few dozen years. The man's a bit much, even for me. A few dozen Keith years? Oh. Uh, what were you and Keith talking about when I came in? Oh, that? We were rehearsing. Gotta stay sharp if we're going to rebuild Hollywood. But Keith always gets flustered when he's upset. Why was he Did upset? You need something else. Uh, what's your thoughts on the case? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Well, it is a bit strange how obsessed Santiago has been with the murder. I mean, he's always been a bit obsessive, though. He did a whole series of paintings of me, hundreds, said I was his muse. It was flattering for a while. 
but the man is a bit much. Even for me. Hmm. Did you need something else? I think maybe later. Maybe later. I'll be around. Languishing from your inattention. Give it a hub. I gave you all kinds of intention. Entirely more intention attention than I planned on giving you. Alright, so now Oh, what is this place? Uh oh, this place Pearl! Hello, detective. Did you need something? Need to restock on hunting or fishing supplies? You sell stuff? What's your thoughts on the case? Did you have any thoughts? On the case? I'm afraid not, Detective. Perhaps you'd better speak with Maxwell for that. Forgot a personal item at home. <laughs> All right, let's I'll barter. Let's see sure. what you have. All of our items have that rustic main feel. Rustic. Ooh, reduces damage from robots by fifteen percent. How much is it? Uh, 6,000. Wow. Kind of pricey, but you know what? It gives two charisma. I'm pretty sure my hat doesn't give two charisma. Let's see. Oh my goodness. It gives more charisma. I think we need it. Make sure we pass all those charisma checks. Request for detective. Okay, you had a note. That's kind of odd. Now let's see what I can sell you. Okay, so I went ahead and got a Depper okay. hat that gives Answer. me even more charisma than I had before and resaved my outfit. Now I just need to remember how I actually get upstairs to the overseer's office. Pretty sure I can do it from that center room. Maybe I should just head in there and go up from there. Because they're... Oh, are we going back to the beginning? Oh, we are. Shucks. Oh, here we go. It's so weird they have a fountain, but I guess this is meant to be fancy. And that is quite, quite the thing going on there. All right, so where is the stairs? Aha! Overseer, let's go inside. Oh! Oh my. It does look pretty bad in here. Oh! The overseer is dead. Okay, but I can take a bolt tech lab coat. Yeah, definitely a dead overseer. Um, oh. Anything else in here before I go ahead with reading that terminal? Maybe that's what she found is whatever the terminal says. Oh, so some stuff is stealing, some stuff is not. That's really kind of odd. A fancy hairbrush I could not have, but I could have mint hats and this drinking glass and the bullets. This is so odd. Oh, okay. Weird. There doesn't appear to be anything crazy in here, so let's go ahead and read the terminal. Okay, so this test was about rich versus poor. Somebody got you. They were supposed to let the poor people into a much lesser wing later on, but the door wouldn't open, and the these people weren't robots when they started. Oh my goodness! Progress on construction of the second wing of the vault is completely stalled. Once the premier area of the vault had been completed, funding seems to have been cut off. My supervisors have informed me that they haven't received payment from Mr. Parker. Voltec won't pay out of pocket to continue construction. I've repeatedly approached Ezra about the finances, but he keeps telling me that Mrs. Riggs hasn't transferred the funds. However, when I asked her, Juliana said that she had just given Ezra extra for the gold paint in the rooms. I've hired an investigator to look for signs of embezzlement in a few weeks. Ooh! All right. Sounds like Ezra was embezzling from his investors. Sure was. We better go figure that out. Juliana? Did you have a question about the heinous murder? Uh, yeah. Ezra was embezzling. There's evidence Ezra was embezzling from his investors. Oh, well, I really don't believe that. Mr. Parker wouldn't do such a thing, I'm sure. Ooh. I think he did. And I think she did it. I think 
You're the real murderer. <laughs> That's just silly, detective. Why would I want to kill Mr. Parker? Uh, Ezra was embezzling? Ezra was embezzling your money. That's why you killed him and framed Keith. You were so close, detective. Uh -oh. It's a shame. I thought I could keep the ruse going a little longer. Oh, well. Had to end eventually, I suppose. This doesn't have to end in more violence, detective. Just walk away. I'll leave, and you can tell them I escaped. Mm, ooh. I want to cut. If I'm going to let you go, I want a cut of what you've stolen. Oh, so it's like that, eh? Fine. I'll grease your palm a bit, detective. Now, am I free to go? Um... Hmm. I need time to consider this. I'm sorry, detective, but I really do need an answer now. What's it going to be, detective? Join me in getting rich or die defending some outdated ideals? Ezra? Ezra? You're alive. Well, congratulations on catching up, detective. Yes. I've been masquerading as Juliana for some time now. Well, how is this going to go down? Oh, man, what killer? Why did you kill Juliana? I hadn't planned on it, but Juliana figured out what I was doing and had to be dealt with swiftly. I thought I could get a bit more money out of this place before making my escape. Well... How is this going to go down? Uh, not a chance. Not a chance. Your murder spree stops here. Then let us end this. Whoa! Whoa! Fred! Fred again! I got news for you. Where is Maxwell? And why do I still have other things? Oh, I don't know what's going on. Maxwell! I figured it out, Maxwell. You can clean up the crime scene now. I found the killer. Mm -hmm. It was Ezra. He killed Juliana and took her place to hide his tracks. My word. I never thought Mr. Parker was capable of something like this. What happened Oh, he's dead. He attacked me, but it's over now. Your residents are safe. There you are, detective. Payment for your services and a bonus for uncovering such a heinous plot. Oh. I don't think we could have done it without you. Look at that. All kinds of pre-war money. Um, so are we good? Do we still have more stuff to do? Why do I still have to go over here? Oh, must be for a different quest. I am done brain dead. The vault is all done. Ooh, a vault 118 jumpsuit. That's kind of cool. Uh, anything cool over here? Doesn't look like it. Nothing super fancy. Is this the second part of the vault? Oh my goodness, brain dead part two. Was this supposed to be the second part of the vault? I'm guessing so. Oh, it's really not done. Really not done at all. Why is there a random car? This is a little bit weird. Oh man. Is there gonna be stuff in here? I feel like I need to explore this vault. But I'm a little bit tired from figuring out a murder mystery. 
So next episode, we'll check out the unfinished finished part of this vault and see what it holds. Thank you for joining me. I'm Miss Fizz. Bye.